Yeah, absolutely, DJ. In 1965, Frank Broyles team was going after history, chasing history, but also making history. In 1964, they won the national championship, so they were trying to go after back-to-back -back rings, but more importantly is what the team actually achieved off the field, and that was desegregation. Daryl Brown became the first player to suit up for the Razorbacks in program history, officially breaking the color barrier for the Arkansas football team. Now, almost 60 years later, Sam Pittman's crew, well, they're etching their names in that history book as well, as all of his coaching staff on the defensive side is of African-American descent. And here's more from the coaches. First of all, we want to hire good people, right? We want to hire good people. You know, when the kid, when the players look at us, you know, what a husband look like, what a father look like. We want and what a great coach and a great teacher. I also understand the responsibility. I get it. You know, representation um, means a lot. Representation means a lot, so for people to see that, I, I get that. We're not going to shy away from that, but I'm also not going to shy away from making sure I'm representing you know, my faith the right way. Uh, it's a blessing for me to be a part of it, for sure. Uh, regardless of race, you know, you want to have a, a room of good men that are good football coaches. That's going to help Arkansas Razorbacks be the best that they can be. Getting the best out of the players and the staff starts with the head hog. His leadership, you know, in his direction for the program and whatever he's saying, we want to be aligned to exactly what he, he wants us to do. And we have good coaches. You know, I'm, man, just blessed to be around Coach Adams and Coach Woodson and Coach Wilson, and even our analysts and GAs. It's a responsibility to be on the forefront of representation, but the coaches believe their biggest responsibility is cultivating relationships for this defense to thrive. With anything, when you get the initial contact, you don't, you're not asking them to trust you. Just want to ear for them to listen to you. And now the relationship and be who you are, say who you are, right? So if I say one thing and doing something opposite, well, no, it's not matching, right? So always be true to who you are uh, and stay consistent. Do what you say you're going to do. You know, it's been great. I've known, I'm, I knew Coach uh, uh, T. Will, didn't know him personally, but I knew who he was. I've known Coach Wilson for a long time and, and I, you know, um, it makes me old when I say this, but Coach Wilson was actually playing corner when I was coaching uh, at uh, Southern Miss, and uh, we won a championship there together. So, so he is, um, man, it's, it's been good. It's been a great group of guys, and um, I really enjoy the room. I got it hard. All you got to do is listen. Say it, go. We're going to coach him hard, but we're going to put our arms around him. It's okay. It's okay to like put your arm around a kid and say, man, you did a good job. You know, it's, it's okay to tell him, hey, man, you got to tighten up, run to the ball. And then when he runs to the ball, man, that's exactly what we want you to do. I mean, it's just that's where the relationship comes in at. And we do a lot of things with the defense. And we do a lot of things as a team, to be honest with you, to bring the relationship as a team together. And it's the relationships that make this defense thrive. And not only that, but also on the side of representation, in addition to the defensive coaching staff, Kenny Guyton and Jimmy Smith, running backs coach and wide receivers coach, are both also African-American men coaching, which puts all African-American staff on Sam Pittman's roster at 6 out of 10 assistants. DJ, we'll send things back to you.